Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. So just like this. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How's everyone doing? Pretty good. How are you? Um, the snow has melted. We got some April Fool's snow, but it wasn't mm -hmm. a joke. It was actually there. Thankfully, today it's melted, so not too bad. And is it spring for you, Amber, in, in New York? It was for a day. Ah, they're toying with you? Yeah. <laughs> on one hand, of course, the sun is shining on yeah. the sun. It's, it's quite nice today. It's quite and nice. It's like the I'm not complaining at all, and now it's nice. It's almost full time. And you're, you're dressed in your flower shirt. You're nice and pink. Mm -hmm. Well, that's for you, darling. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> that's for you, darling. Hi, everyone. Your number one fan, Amber. Oh, hey, Byron. Byron's birthday is coming up. Um, I don't know where you're watching from, June. I'm seeing that it's, let me look at the more, the sooner. These comments are coming in. I think it's fine. You're in Pennsylvania. That's close to, um, to, uh, where ha Amber's at. Hey, hey Amy. The hey, Amy. Hello, hello. hello hi. Well, welcome everyone. This is our cookie lunch break. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. We missed you last last live stream. He was out running around. Oh. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jay. So uh, if you guys miss anything and you want to like rewatch any part, this is saved to our Facebook and our YouTube so you can rewatch it as well as all our previous live streams. You can watch that there. And if uh, you're kind of interested, oh, yeah. we, launched, we recently launched a, uh, some accounts on a platform. I'm looking for the links here. Uh, a platform. Yes, coffee.com. I'm looking for the thumbnail with all of our um, all of our uh, users on it. Do we have a picture? I don't, I don't know if I ever saw a picture. Here's my link. This is mine. So I have all my Easter templates and today's template up. And then Amber, I'm looking for your button. Looking for your button. Oh, is this it? No. Anyway. Let's me... <laughs> well, we have the, it's, you know, www.coffee. Yeah, there it is. So if you want to purchase our templates, you can purchase them there. They're $2 during the live stream. Um, and yeah, that really helps us continue to make this ad free kind of thing and pays our expenses and helps us out so thank you to those of you that purchased the templates on tuesday from me and last week on uh, on friday with the girls so today it's me and hand decorating amber's in charge of the buttons mm -hmm. can we trust you i think so <laughs> Let's do the camera dance. Who's going first? Hands. I don't know who is going first. Are you going first? I have a lot of. Oh, sorry, you see all the mess here behind me. Uh, um, I can we I can go I can go and then we can switch up if you want. All right. So then, all right? Your so uh, I have uh, quite a lot of things that we, we are going to be doing today. So I'm gonna. There you go then. Um. All right. All right. Okay. So. So All right, now. and I'll take over the uh, the controls over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to we're going to do some simple um, wood grain. And what I like to do, I like to use um, thin, like um, I would say maybe eight second consistency oil icing at first. So I'm going to spread. A really thin layer of icing on the cookie. I love hexagonal shapes. And to color this icing, I just used um, black food coloring um, to give it like dark gray color. And if you have access of the icing, just wipe it. 
towel. Can you see? Uh, my home um, is this the hexagon that's in your shop? That cookie cutter? In my, uh, I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it is. Let's see if we can find. So, Not in my coffee shop. I go. I don't have. I don't have anything in there in regards if you to, go the to yet, But I will upload hopefully soon. All right. All right. So once you spread this in a pen <laughs> layer, you're gonna what? How old is that cookie? Well, this is fresh. Oh, this is nice. actually fresh. Yes, it's actually fresh. It's actually fresh. I made these a couple of days ago. No, they're actually really good tasting. This is not my regular recipe. This is a recipe that I use for uh, mini tart shells. Oh, it's got um, almonds. Is that with almonds? No, no, no. It's with um, egg yolks. Only egg yolks. No, no egg whites. So you want this to be like, you can see it's fairly thin here. And so you want to let that dry. So while that's drying, we're going to make the butterflies. And to make the butterflies, I've prepared a really handy stencil. I use the uh, Mylar material. Is that what you use, Mark, for your stencils? Um, you well, because I'm cutting with the, the machines tend to struggle with that material. So I use actually a thinner plastic than that. Okay. So I, don't, I think this is six mil plastic that I used. And I just um, hand cut it because I don't have the same machine as Mar has. So I hand cut it with an X-Acto knife. So what I have here is a piece of uh, wax paper and I'm just putting this butterfly stencil over it. Now I'm gonna take um, yellow real icing and we're gonna spread it over the stencil then I'm gonna lift it up. Now you have a couple options that you can use to spread the icing. You can use this small offset spatula. It's about what is this, a three inch maybe blade? Or you can use these, these are really handy. This one is, the blue one is Atiko, and this is Sweet Sugar Bell. You can get these on Amazon. I think they are listed in my Amazon shop. Sweet Sugar Bell's version comes, I think the, the package has a like a wider version, the two of them together, which is great. Oh, okay, you know, I, had, I, I came as two of the same, the ones oh. I got. Hmm. Yeah, it came to as the same, but I really like the small one. It reminds me of the one you have, you know, the, I think yours is even like smaller than this, the one that you got from Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so you can, I mean, there are options that you can use to spread the icing. This is a thing, so I'm just going to. When I do something like this, I don't always put it in a regular piping bag to save the piping bags. I just put it in a sandwich bag. Oops. This is what's going to happen every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pipe it onto the spreader, not onto the parchment. You can see it's pretty thick. Make sure that you have your wax paper underneath. Now, if you have a if you have an option to make this a Maltese butterfly stencil, that will be probably ideal so you can get uh, more of them done at yes. the same time. And you just spread it. You don't want to go too thin because then the transfer is going to be very fragile. And now the trick is to pick it to, to lift it up. So I'm going to hold the bottom and then carefully lift it up like this, okay? And then you can continue, you can uh, continue making more butterflies. I would say you need to clean it up maybe after fifth time or something like that, maybe not even that. And then you can just continue making more and more. You can use different colors. And then I would recommend that you let it dry overnight or at least I would say six to seven hours or more. I mean, that is overnight. Um, and then once they're dry, this is what they're gonna look like. I made more colors. I also made blue, and I made pink. Here they are. So that's just very to show you. spring. You know, nice. Spring is, yes, very spring-like. Yes, absolutely. Lovely. And so it's really easy to remove them from the wax paper. 
if you if you've never made transfers, this is what happens when you're not gentle with them. Mm. <laughs> you know, they they do break. I but you can really crank up so many butterflies with this this technique. Mm -hmm. You need to use a uh, lot of butterflies. They're super easy to make. Now, to make them a bit prettier, prettier, you could airbrush them. But I don't have an airbrush here. Or if you don't have an airbrush, you could also use, uh, that's what I'm going to be using today. This is a orange petal dust or color dust, I think. Uh, this is a built-in brand I'm using today. Markers, and, remember, uh, how many markers uh, do the job? Mar markers, you could use, I was going to say, you could also use a marker. The only thing with a marker, if you press on these too, too hard, oh. they might break. I am going to use a marker, but um, where's my brush? So I'm just going to get my brush. I'm going to go just around the edges here, just to give it a little or color. Mm -hmm. You could also paint, like paint these, obviously, but the, bra the dust works really fast. So it's such a fast. Do you prefer paper. wax paper over parchment paper to do transfers? Um, it really did, like, um, I keep saying one thing and then I go back to the other one. Other <laughs> one. I, do like, I do like wax paper because I feel like it doesn't, um, uh, absorb as much water as parchment so then your bottom your your underside it's not too uneven right because the parchment will but, wrinkle a lot yeah yeah unless you have parchment I have found parchment that has uh, the, like a really nice coating yeah that looks so pretty okay you can do another one I'm just gonna use some residue from this one. So is this butterfly template in your coffee shop? Did not you yet, not yet. I'm going to um Okay. It'll be there. I'm going to, yeah, it will be there. It will be there. Sorry guys. Yes. That's all right. So maybe if the butterflies are so popular all year long. I mm -hmm. think it's such an evergreen um thing to do. And it is very springy, I think like tomorrow is that. Yeah. Um, yes, the, there's a question from Carol here asking if the paintbrushes for, for uh, edible purposes is different than a regular. Oh, you don't want to. This is actually built in. I don't know if you can see, but mm -hmm. it's built in. This is a set of five. Amber also uses this set. Um, this one that I used for the, oh, I have three of them actually here. I don't have the last two. I don't see them here. But these are all from the same set, and these are great. Oops. <laughs> these are great. I don't know why it's like it sets, but it's five minutes. So these are really great, and I would highly recommend that you get these. These are plastic, like they have plastic handles, so they're not going to, um, you can, you know, use them with water. They're not going to rust or anything like that, or I haven't had any, any problems with them. And I obviously just use them with food. You don't want to use any kind of, you can go to the store and get um, a paintbrush, but make sure that you don't use it with oil paint before you use it on the food. Just put right. it in a special uh, container yeah. and use it with food only. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so now that we've done that, I am going to use a marker. Oh, oh. okay. This way. So this is actually, um, where is the name of it? I can't think of the rainbow dust. It's rainbow mm -hmm. dust, yeah. Yeah, this is rainbow dust. This is rainbow dust and it's a dual pen. So you have this side, it's fine tip, and this side, it's uh, like a regular wider tip. So I'm going to, I have made some template for myself because um, sometimes it's really hard to, try to, to, to draw these lines. What does that mean, making noise? <laughs> I think somebody got an email or something. <laughs> me, somebody sent me a coffee. Thank you, everybody. Oh, <laughs> awesome. oh, okay. All right. Oh, another oh, one. Wow. Another <laughs> one. Okay. Thank you. Wow, well, that's great. Um, and I think right. you can. This might be in your plan, but to put the wings together at some point on the cookie. 
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's the plan. Now I'm going to the reason I'm doing this now because once you remove it, it's kind of really difficult to handle these small pieces. They mm -hmm. they they tend to slide on the work surface. So it's best to leave them on the parchment as for as long as possible. And then um, also for storage purposes. If you are making a lot of these and you want to store them in a, a box, you can store them like this, you know, layered maybe with some paper towel and they will keep for a really long time. Just to show you, these are, these are um, two years old. Wait, are those black ones also transfers? Well, this is sugar veil. I had I had oh, made I um, this is sugar veil. I had I made um, with uh, with uh, mold, but because yeah. sugar veil or I guess any any sugar lace will um, dry out, so I have to um, make it uh, more pliable by steaming it. So that's yeah. what I'm, I'm hoping to do it at some point. Yeah, those are really cool. They, otherwise, they break quite easily. Yeah. Handle yeah, but these, yeah, and imagine these survived um, move from US to Spain. So. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna continue with these lines. You don't want to put too much pressure on the on this, obviously, because it can break. But okay, now I'm gonna try to mirror it, which can be quite hard, but. Well, I have oh, like a Halloween yeah. cookie, so mm -hmm. yes, you could use that for a Halloween cookie. Somebody suggested, yes, yes, absolutely, and, absolutely. And, and I actually it. have this technique posted on the blog uh, under my Royalizing Butterflies, where I share how I make also more traditional pipe butterflies, and uh, you can check that out. All right, so I'm just gonna wing it. All right. So that part is done, and now we're going to outline it. So to outline you, ideally I would say use black, but I wanted to kind of get away from black a little bit, so I'm gonna use, this is like olive. Olive. Little baby, olive, yeah. little baby piping bag. And so I'm just gonna cut the tip. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, you got another one, Mar? I do. Wow. <laughs> The butterflies are made of real icing. Yes, happy Easter weekend. Oh, hello, Anne Marie. Hello. Oh, I already posted. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Lourdes is from Mexico. Hello. Thanks for watching. I don't know if you guys, when you look at your demographics, I actually have a lot of people watching from Mexico and Brazil. Yeah. My videos. It's great. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to avoid that. There's got to be something in there. Something to override it. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Maybe Tara knows. Oh, all right. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to put this on the side. And now we are going to, so I prepared this earlier. This, this doesn't dry that fast. This is the one I made. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's still a little shiny. You want to wait a little longer to make it, uh, you know, so it's flat. So this one has been drying for a little while. It's super dry. And I'm going to use the, um, Amber, you would know, or your dad would know, it was, he, he was there. Is this ash color of the wood when it's like grayish or is it cedar? Jeremy knows. Oh, Jeremy knows. Hey, Jeremy, would, <laughs> would, uh, working. Um, all right, so I'm using stiffer icing. Again, I don't have it in a piping bag because we're just going to Add it in a blob on the cookie. So I'm gonna use um, lighter gray and then I'm going to add some spots with uh, dark gray as well, um, white. I'm just gonna spread it. You want icing to be uh, fairly thick because we're going to use a toothpick 
to create wood planks. So if the icing is too runny, then um, the lines will be disappearing on you. You'll see what I mean in a second. What was, the, what was your question about the color of the wood? Well, what's the, 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 the wood that is like grayish? Oh, barn color? wood. Huh? Isn't it barn wood? Oh, what do you mean bar, like bar, barn wood? What's that? I what mean, I like what would I you like like cedar will get gray right when it like uh, loses its i don't know yes ash? Ash, Amy, but it, it's um it's wood that's um like been outside and yeah, 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 yeah yeah weathered wood yes weathered wood yes okay it's funny now because uh, my husband's from the country and so people tear down their barns and before you just basically burn that scrap wood now you're selling it for Oh, reclaimed wood. Oh my goodness, it's expensive. It's quite but expensive. Very popular. Here in Canada has gone up like exponentially. And I'm like, well, don't we have enough trees? I mean, in Canada of all places, all we have is trees. I don't really understand the price of wood. It's going crazy. Mm. Well, if it's from an old bar, you know, like you can't really get that look. No, I'm talking about new two by fours at the hardware store. Oh yeah. Oh two by four. Yes, it's yeah. Uh, you can. Oh, did I? Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Oh yes, Anne Marie has reclaimed wood. That's the fancy name. Yes, that's that is the fancy mm -hmm. fancy name. Yeah. Okay, so now to give it a little texture, you can use one of these. A clean one. Obviously, you know, I brush my teeth and people. <laughs> oh God, I'm not having your cookies. <laughs> so you give it a little, like, you know, you rough it up a little bit. Cool. So um, Julie has a, she's saying that her transfers get discolored. Oh, discolored. Oh, so are, you placing, oh, are you placing them in a direct sunlight? Well, um, is it discolored or is it color bleed that you're referring to, Julie? Because oh. oh, that depends yeah. a lot with... Yeah. So now I'm using a toothpick. That's a I high like to use a I like to. Well, this is a high-end product. <laughs> it's oops, It's um. I like to use the rounded ones, the flat ones. Um, I find them they are a bit flimsy. And the reason I'm using a toothpick is that it's thicker than a regular um, scribe tool. And I'm gonna start in the center. Oh, and that's the reason. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I think you were just going to answer this question. Why do you flood the cookie if you're going to cover it? Yes. So yeah. the reason the reason why we did the um, thin layer of icing on the bottom is now I'm removing a small portion of it, uh, exposing that dark layer, which gives gives it a more <laughs> Would like look right or wood mm -hmm. planks oh yeah that's cool and also you can see that the icing is not healing it's not coming together lines are staying intact so you could leave it like this or you could also make um i guess i will make some uh knots <laughs> I like this. I uh, know where is he? Where's his comment? He's saying this episode of Cookie Live is brought to you by Sony. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much. You have no idea uh, what it took to get here. Yeah, exactly, Sony. Yeah, like we try to hide like the tech problems and whatever, and that's it. Like you, some days the live stream's not, the connection's not, the camera's mm -hmm. not. I well, Jeremy, I think you you need to appreciate the angle, camera angle. No more weird right. angle. Right. I mean, yeah, I think the angle is awesome, and also the lighting is awesome. Yeah, this looks so good. Have you guys noticed? Oh, the much better. Cameras worked out, so that's that's great. All right, so now uh, because the the other one, this I don't know if this is dry yet. Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Josie. Some stars. No, it's good if it's right. Okay, so, all right. So we're going to position it on the cookie. Uh, I don't have, all right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of, ideally you wanna 
plate, put the icing on the back of them, but I don't want to handle these too much because I just piped the outlines. So okay, um, um, I'm gonna put yeah. Hans coffee link in the comments. Well here I put I put the three of them on the on the screen. And then yeah. Okay. So to lift it up, to lift it up, you can use a toothpick or if you have like I said, I just piped the outline, so I'm just a little concerned that it's going to get messed up. One of the, the kind of tricky parts of being on live, most of the icing things that we do have to dry. And so mm -hmm. you're, you're kind of like having to figure it out. And right? do a lot of work ahead of time. Yes, a lot of advanced prep and mm -hmm. Just want to shift it a little bit just so it sticks to the icing that is underneath. Yeah, a little wiggle. It, it's really mm -hmm. nice to yellow against the gray. That's when it like kind of... Um, it is, but I have to say I'm not loving the, the uh, olive I chose. Okay. Yeah, I'm not loving the olive. I think it's uh, making it... Um, Drab a bit? Yeah. So now I'm just going to pipe the body. Maybe next time electric green. Oh yeah, to match my shirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to make these uh, a bit more special, we're going to pipe some succulents. So what I've got here, okay, I've got here a flower nail. I already have um, double-sided tape on it. I've got my parchment here. And I also have some oil icing here. Two tips. So we're going to start with a star tip. And let me just remove this so it's quite messy here. Yeah. Oh, burnt orange. Yeah. That would be nice. A burnt orange outline. Oh yeah, that's like burnt orange is, is that uh, like orange red, reddish orange. That's the one, right? Mm. Here coincidentally, just funny to, my, my cookies are kind of that color. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, so I'm going to start, where are my succulents? So we're going to make a couple of these. I've got oh, a star on it, that'll be nice. I'm sorry. I said you're putting succulents. I said that'll be that'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I made these also a while ago, and you can find a detailed, very detailed tutorial on my blog how to make these pretty little things. And then, um, okay, so all okay, these. All right. And then this one is really nice as well. All right. All right. So let me put the two minutes, five minutes. Seems to be going on. All right, so here I have um, put, um, this is also like an olive green and um, like hot pink. Let me just see, I didn't test it. So I guess you, you not not I guess, but you want to pipe it until both of the colors come out. Yeah, and um, these will basically last forever once they're dry, right? Yes, they. Yeah, these I also made uh, a while ago. These cute little things. Here's her her blog um, link to mm -hmm. her post for to make those. Okay. And so then I'm gonna, you can use a template. I don't have a template, so let's see if I can do it without a template. Okay. And then the butterfly template will be available soon. It's not up yet. Oh, somebody's mad. Again? Yeah, it's uh, Lynn Rothstein. It must be my red sh uh, pink shirt. Sorry, Lynn, if we made you angry. Blinding you, I'm sorry. That's you know, here in Spain, they have such uh, gorgeous succulents. They grow so big. 
Yeah, I've never seen them like in the wild. That must be neat to just go out on a walk and see them everywhere. Yeah, they, they are quite, quite big. So you can see this wasn't that bad. I, I mean, when you are doing these succulents, I think a lot of people overthink it. When you look in the wild, they, they take on so many different shapes. And like when, when one of the leaves breaks off, there is another, you know, leaf yeah. coming out and it's like misshaped or whatever. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, we always try to be so perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And um, yeah. All right. So if you want to do, let's see, um, could you, So what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on a piping bag then I'm releasing it and I'm pulling away. And what you can also do, you can also control what color is coming out which way. So if you want more red and you can see it's on this side, so you're going to turn up your bag that way and you'll have more red. But now remember there is already some icing in the piping, piping tip. So you may wanna squeeze out more icing to get to the color you want, if, you know what I mean? What tip is this? This is uh, this is sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. You can also use fourteen. Things like this, I mean, really, royal icing transfers are the way to go because already, like, decorating the cookies, baking, everything is so long. So if you can get this done in advance, it's mm. like such a just. Never mind time sa saver, it's your mind saver. Yeah. So that you don't go crazy mm -hmm. trying to get you it could, done. You could also pipe these little guys, you know. Um, these could be like a little accent. I mean, ideally you wanna use a larger piping piping tip, like this one, for example. This is, I think, 32, the green one that I used. So you want to use larger larger tip, open star. Like, this is not bad. The, the, the pink one, but this is more like a succulent would be, I think. So that's that. And then we can, because I had a couple of here, so I can swap out the tips. This is true, Jeremy. Just make a ton and then you'll just always have them. Oh yeah, dozens, three dozens, five dozens. Mm -hmm. um, Julie's asking, how long does the tape last on your nail? Do you have to replace it often? Um, you mean the double-sided? Yeah. It, it, it lasts a very long time. I actually prefer when it's slightly worn out. Oh, okay. Reason is because it can stick, the parchment or the wax paper can stick to it too much, so when then you're trying to oops, yes. remove your, your, your um, um, I can demonstrate. All right, so let's see. We're going to make, um, I mean, it's not sticking anymore that much, but when I, when I first put it on, I tried to like, almost like make it a little um, dirty so it doesn't yeah. stick too much, because then you can mess up your flower. Okay, so if I like, it's not sticking as much, but I know, I, don't, I hope you understand what I mean. If it's, yes, it's sticking to it too much, you have to pull too hard and then you can misshape your flower. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, sometimes I even prefer piping some royal icing on there. The only disadvantage I find that it gets messy after they dry, because then underside has a little yeah. bit of a thing. So when then you are removing them, you have all of this. The bits yeah, everywhere. Yeah, but um, honestly, I often don't have double-sided tape, so um, I often use that method as well, and it's fine. All right, so we are going to do... Um, succulents have re really uh, thick leaves, so I'm going to, instead of traditional rows, where you... This is a piping tip... Um, 101 petal tip. With the traditional rows, you have the narrow part of the tip facing up. Okay. And I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to use it with the white part up. Give the succulents this look, you know? Cool. Like they, yeah. They look more. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that. I th thought that was. See. I'm sorry? I thought it was fondant. I didn't realize that you piped that one because it had the thick. 
um, egg. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Well, it's been a while. I hope I can. I still got it. I haven't found yeah, it. Yeah. It's like riding a bike. Go. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Beautiful. Oops. That's up there. And I'm I'm guessing that these techniques that you're sharing today could be done in buttercream on a cupcake. Oh yeah, absolutely. Bigger, bigger piping tips, though, obviously. Well, unless you want to spend an hour on a cupcake, best use probably. Uh, what's the what's the um, one twenty five? I think it's a large petal tip. A uh, one oh four. It's pretty. It's pretty big to. Probably it is a big issue. They cover it almost every plot. Oh, oh, you respond. Yeah, yeah. Every um, a lot of people have the same the color bleed issue. Um, there's uh lots of different things you can try. Um, I find that making your, making sure that you don't over mix your icing, um, and over color because over people coloring, are yeah, right away to this top, top dark color. Mm -hmm. What else? Don't make your icing too watery. Um, it also depends on the icing recipe you're using, if you, you know, you might have to change some things in the recipe. And the brand. And the brand of meringue powder, if you're using meringue powder or egg whites or carton eggs or fresh the, eggs. The, the coloring, Amber, the actual like brand of coloring, some of them are more prone to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. So do you position the tip on the bag in such a way to make sure that the green is right on the edge? This was a coincidence, mm -hmm. but if I, if I want to really do that, you have to, you can really manipulate the way I think comes out. So I, I, uh, I didn't do that this time, but if you go on the blog, anielas.com, uh, under my realizing succulent post, you'll see that I usually put all the colors in a piping bag, like a Ziploc bag, and then I make little um, realizing bullets or pouches, where you can really be precise where you are piping your uh, colored realizing. For example, if you want to make this kind of a rose, you have to make sure that light green, this light lime green is coming out through the for the narrow part of the mm -hmm. realizing. So then you have to align it. So this is narrow. So you make sure that the icing is placed here. But this was just a really, really nice coincidence. Yeah, that was coming, coming out that, that, that way. For pansies, you would probably use the same because I know you've done. Yes, I have pansies. Mm -hmm. I have done pansies as well. So you have, yes, exactly. You do the same. You have to kind of um, figure out what color you want to come out. I mean, if you change your mind, like I said before, once you start piping, you have to remember that this green is filled, the piping tip is filled with green, at least half of the piping tip. So if you want to change that, you can easily do that by, by turning the, the tip. But mm -hmm. remember, the color inside didn't change, so you have to push it out until yeah. you see the right colors coming out, if that makes sense. And that's a, tip, uh, that's a tip 101. This is a 101. Yes, this is, I think, uh, this is not the smallest of the, the petal tips, but it is a very popular tip with the cookie decorators and the making roses. If, if you go smaller, they tend to be very hard to make. I find, anyway, you have to be really, really um, patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, I'm gonna do one more, one more than we did before. So this is, um, I'm holding it like, uh, what is this, like a 45, at 45 degree angle and um, white part is facing the center and narrow part is facing out. And notice that I'm also turning the flower nail. And if you have a template, and these are really easy to get, you can find them online, 
And I also have a template for Daisy on uh, coffee.com. Coffee, coffee.com? Yes, coffee.com. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can get a template and you can just follow the template if you are not sure where to pipe the next pedal. And it will give you even results throughout. If you're making hundred of these, you know, you probably want to make sure that they're all the same. And then what you can do, you can use a toothpick to kind of smooth the center. You could put a little uh, dragea in there or number else. All right, so that's for the, the simple succulents. This one, if you wanted to see how this one is done, this is done with a leaf tip. Um, you want to see how that's done? Well, we're at 45 minutes, darling. Oh, we are? Okay, darling. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll save that one for you. We are complaining that I'm so go first. Okay. Okay. We are yeah. 45 minutes. <laughs> All right, so let's finish up. So I'm just going to embellish these with some succulents that I prepared earlier. And we have some more green here. So I'm just going to add some leaves. 45 minutes. So much fun piping. Okay. Yay. Finally, no, good lighting. I'm not thinking in a bad way. I said you're you're like you're in your zone. You're there going. Oh. When we're when we're off, you could pipe another hundred. You seem to be enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It's, it's All right. like All right. literal All right. icing therapy, eh? All right. So let's let's finish this off. Oops. Okay, which one? Let's let's put this one in there, and then you can obviously play more with it and more leaves. You have to tell me what time is it. I forget. <laughs> That's so pretty. So is that like, you know, that, that hanging cactus, do you know, I don't know the name, but yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? It kind of looks like a braid. Yeah. It has a name. It has a name. I can't remember the name of it. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay. That's we did beautiful. all these flowers, but I that's fine. That. I'm just going to leave it as it is. All right. All right. I'm out. That's another, that's another skill, seriously, in all seriousness, when you're cookie decorating to, to know when to stop, you know? Sometimes you you have made all those uh, succulents and you're like, wow, I love them all. I want to put them all on this one cookie. But sometimes it's better to hold back and resist a little mm -hmm. bit. You could, you could, you could, you could, you could obviously do, do more. You could add a few here, you know, you could do anything you want. I mean, but I think it kind of maybe dilutes the whole. It yeah, is very so nice, a little I'm bit. Gonna leave, I'm going to leave it as it is. All right. So back to you. Victoria. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. Well, thanks, Han. I was just teasing. Well, you have uh, exactly 12 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you might go over, and that's why we go over when I'm on, just so we're clear. <laughs> okay, well, that's true. That is absolutely true. <laughs> so today I'm working on um, borders. So basically, the so I, they're a little bit big, obviously, for cookies. But the thing is, is, is during the live stream and with filming, it's tougher to see with the super small piping tips. So they're bigger than I would recommend for an actual, like, cookie. But you can see here there's – I'm going to try to zoom in. I don't know how much I can kind of zoom in. So if you look at the, the – so this is the template that's available today on coffee, as well as um, all my Easter ones are $2 today during the live stream. So you can see here – I've got them marked, so if you want to practice with the different piping tips. So just to show you, there's they come in all different sizes, ain't eh? piping tips. So there's closed star, open stars, and regular just rounds. Some of them can use to make her succulents. And so the bigger they are, the bigger the thing that you're going to be working on. So obviously you're not going to use the same thing on a cupcake as you would on a small cookie. And so if you want to try, you see here, that's why I put the, the different piping tips. You can try the different looks. So just this one here, where's my hand now? 
this one here. These three are all the same, but just they look so different because they were done with a different piping tip. All of them, like there's three, all just with a different piping tip. And you can see it gives you such a different result, you know? So that's just something to, to kind of like try. And so here are the two templates to show. Whole, that, yeah, that whole thing, all those different shapes are available on your coffee shop. Yes. And so the, I like the way that I design always, I'm thinking about if you guys want to make an airbrush template. So you can either use it with a projector or if you're practicing, you practice and you can pipe right on the paper. You can put parchment on whatever you want to do, but you can also cut them shrink them to your cookie size and make like the border for your cookie. So then you have the guideline right on the cookie to um, be able to pipe. Speaking of that, today I, I designed this for Amber. So that's in her coffee shop, her swirls. I'll turn it over so you can see it. So that's- We don't really agree, it is beautiful. So if you struggle, you wanna replicate her design, well, this way you could just pop that on the cookie airbrush it and then you'd have your guidelines you could probably do with a marker as well and boom you could pipe that on your cookie so here i just want to show the two examples so this is a previous cookie that i did and you can see you know like usually we'll see like either just a straight line or a little uh pearl kind of border this is just something a little bit different if you want to try you know like to if you're doing maybe wedding stuff or things like that and here you can see it just kind of like changes up the look, you know? So here I did experiment with that, with that um, oh, stencil. Cool. I tested it on the yeah. on those cookies. I'm so excited about that template. That's awesome. You're excited about the template. So here yeah. I'm just gonna pipe on the sheet. So again, it's it's um it's one of those things that's tough to show in, in a live stream, but I'm gonna try. So if you imagine now, like you know, don't look at as a big thing look at each little individual thing this is a tear shape repeated slightly see to the right to the left to the right. these are several tear shapes you break it up in your mind you see here they're just like little little curves so you're just repeating and it's just practice pressure knowing when to do your pulse of squeeze and then your release right you're doing a little pulse of pressure and then you release for the tapering that way you get like this kind of like um you know, it gets narrower at the at the end. So I'm just trying to find where I am in the on the paper so that I'm actually in frames. So I think I'm good. So I usually I'll start squeezing. Yeah. Like I see the icing coming out. I tuck it kind of under. I touch down so that that is pretty at the end there. I don't want to have this ugliness that's coming. And so now this ended where I want the next one to begin. So then I'm gonna be ending, hiding my ending with my beginning. So I start squeezing and I kind of go around to hide it. And once you start going, well, I'm going the wrong way, you get a flow for it and you just kind of like, you can spin your piping tip and you don't wanna have rock hard icing. You're just gonna hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. you wanna have an icing that's able to hold those pretty lines, but you don't wanna have a, a carpal tunnel at the end of the day. This is a 16. I don't think I'd go much bigger than that on a cookie. It, it um, you know, it gets too big. It's like a lot of icing. So here's the same thing, but this time it's double. You see, I'm going one and then this little one. Mm. And then again. And you can have the sheet next to you and and like kind of like, okay, which one am I doing? and just have like a visual reference next to you when you're piping. You see? Beautiful. It's just, all of them are the same. This one here is maybe the more different one. Let me see if I can get in frame for this one. Where am I here? This one? Yeah. So you're just doing like a tear shape, which is like a shell border. And then on either side you're doing, and you see this on kind of like the, I want to say amber style of, of, of cookies, you know, like the kind of more royal type things, mm -hmm. you know, like the very elegant stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if you're really like, you could, I guess, come in with a, a not star tip to do the dot, but you'll see these around on uh, round cookies. People do like that, like kind of all the way around here a little, am I in? Yeah. Yeah. Here's like, like E shapes, and then you're going. I'm doing it with you. 
You are? Awesome. Fun. I, I don't have I any music today. You see? So it, it just it just kind of like switches things up. And this one here is fun here. Let me, am I, where am I here? This one. So this one here, you're doing a circular motion. See? So this is, you're going around. And then when you get, you can pull. You see, and it does this very kind of fancy-ish mm -hmm. thing. You don't want to do a hundred cookies like this, but if you're doing a few wedding ones, you could maybe add this, you know, if you're doing a corset cookie, you could have. Mar, Mar. What? I did it. <laughs> you did it? Very nice. Here, let's let's put it in the, seriously put it oh, back. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to do that. Oh, I want to see. Okay, you want to see? Oh, it's very oh, pretty. You see, she's got all kind yeah. of marbled icing in there. It gives it like a different look. So yeah, it's just something to kind of like change it up. We we tend to get uh, kind of in a rut, I want to say, doing always the same thing, you know? Yeah. But this is just like, it's very repetitive. You're doing, and then I have also, there's three templates in there. There's a third one that I don't have to show you, but it's a heart just to do these borders around on a, um, on a, like a rounded shape, you know? So where's this one here? So let's do, I'm trying to think what I'm going to, I want to back out here a little bit. So I do like, so see here, I did, you know, basically you're airbrushing the same color that you have on the other side. And it's just a way to kind of like jazz up a simple geometric shape is to have some fancy, I, like even like this here, then you can come in and pipe over the airbrushed uh, swirls and then you could come in and maybe, you know, do a, a version of that, like the C shapes down the middle or it's kind of like, a, oh here, let's just out of curiosity, if you pipe with the, have you ever done that on your swirls? The, a star tip? I have not. Oh, yeah. I guess you will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what it kind of, because you always kind of do it on wet on wet. That's why, eh? Your, your swirls. Yeah, I'm usually, I usually do wet on wet, yeah. But you I'm see, the stencil, it, yeah. the stencil Look. allows to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm this we have a question. This might be uh, okay. A question from Kristen. I'm doing shower cookies with an orange poppy theme. Any suggestions for making flowers on a cookie? Uh, what is she doing? Uh, the flowers on a cookie. You know, like when you are when you are piping when you are actually piping directly on a cookie, right? So you have to, like I can, uh, shout out Amy. Amy did, I think, two live streams ago. She's using this a ruffle piping tip, and it's something like that I would have never thought. It's actually a, a, something for cupcakes, and it pulls out like a really long, flat piece of icing. And she just turned her cookie in a circle, and she had a poppy. Actually, she did make a poppy. Yeah, so I think it's in it is in the piping tip and how you turn yeah. your cookie. Yeah, how yeah. you handle it. So where am I here? So I'm gonna do the three, the one that I did before there, that three. So it's like there and then on either side, you've got these kind of like little curved shapes. And it looks like chunky here because the piping tip is so big. But like I say, when you're working on a small, tip it's much more elegant and fine but not really uh hard for you guys to see you know working on uh mm -hmm. microscopic things well but you can kind of see you see if it was smaller it just but i do like the star it's probably my favorite the star tip to do these particular things and the open star i bought from pme pme's tips are i have to say they're off the charts and I ordered a 43, and that's an open star tip. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. This is probably cookie sized. And because it's open, it's much easier to pipe than a closed uh, piping, a piping tip. Where am I here? I like this one. 
See this one, when I look at it, I find it confusing. So I would, if, if you can, make an airbrush stencil and just give yourself a bit of a shadow. Like you don't have to airbrush your guidelines in jet black, you know, you just do a mist mm -hmm. of like a tone on tone of your existing cookie and then you have your guidelines. But I do like the look of this particular piping tip. Oh, that's nice. So if you've never bought you know it reminds me of eclairs. I don't know why. It's weird. I oh yeah. I could eat an eclair right uh, now. Yeah. But, um, I think, yeah. That's such so, a nice thing. So they're much more expensive, the PME, but they're it's in the fabrication they're made. There's no seam in them. They're seamless. And so you don't get this curving and and I mean they're they I think they work out to ten dollars here in Canada. But they just really do work so much better. There's just, I mean, it's one of those things. Get like the 1.5. If anything, get yourself a 1.5 if you do writing and stuff on yeah. your movies. And That's you're gonna the one see, that I have. Yeah, you're going to see a big improvement. It really makes a difference. And then here's just a, like, I, I don't even know why I have a brown cookie, but I. <laughs> <laughs> and so again, Is with. That the, brown? I thought, like, it almost looks like. Uh, like, kind of a or, or, like brownish, like like either oranges or orange brown or like yeah. red brown. Like I don't yeah. know what what is the color. Is. Yeah, Sabrina like a, has a question, unrelated question. Can I ask what mixers you ladies use? My poor KitchenAid is struggling with my cookie dough. Oh, how is that possible that it's struggling with the cookie dough? Is what it? Kind of so I use um my I have a KitchenAid. I have the artisan, which is the small one, and then I have the like the professional, yeah, the professional one with the tilt. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing lifts up instead lifts of up, yeah. that mm -hmm. one is very, oh, yeah, that one's really strong. And that one yeah. like never has any issues. But the smaller one, sometimes the motor does kind of have a lot oh. of trouble mixing yeah. like stiff icing and cookie dough. So, um, but yeah, I've had both as well. I mean, I did like them, but I, I love the Kenwood. Kenwood, Kenny, Kenny, how is Kenny June? Uh, Kenwood, uh, I had Kenwood uh, mixer that I oh, absolutely, okay. yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, it was great for, uh, I liked it quite a lot because of the bowl shape. It wasn't mm -hmm. uh, as narrow at the bottom. Okay, yeah. So um, the, the paddle attachment makes everything. Sometimes in the KitchenAid I find I had to, dump it out and there was still a little bit of dry like flour on the bottom. So that was the only, but I mean, I like the both. Bo I mean, KitchenAid is such a workhorse. This is lovely. I like that quite a lot, what you just did, Mar. Beautiful. So it's just, you can, you can make up your own too, you know? And if you're gonna fin like end, make sure that you know the next, Kind of line you're putting is going to cover your end you see like here i can stop because i know i'm going to go back over like with another swirl you see so i'm just doing kind of ease all the way around as soon as you don't have to stop if you can do a continuous motion you'll work a little bit faster you want to think about that if you're working on a lot of cookies so you have a huge lot of them here uh, sure. on the Terracotta was the color we were looking for. Yes, that's yeah, that's the right. Yes, I should know. There's terracotta everywhere here, yes. See here, you can yes. see it's basically that on the edge. You see, I just, like, use the plaque. Do you think, do you think this is something I wanted to done for a really long time? Do you think these, like, if you, um, you make some of these designs, like, I, I think this one could be possibly done as a transfer and put them on, like, I had planned to doing a gingerbread house that, that way gingerbread house that you make these ahead of time do you think it's it's something that is possible or do you think they, they would break like really oh no they're, they're pretty like thick here this i piped it on paper actually a few months ago and i mean it's quite strong the the blue paper that i showed before yeah like it's quite strong i think the only issue would be like the lengthwise right if you're doing, well like, i meant like if it was like a, a like a crown, more, yeah. more of a um, yeah. uh, closed design, not so open, you know. And you want like off, like closed design, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like what you have here, like something like that. You think it would uh, survive? Yeah. And then here you can see it just with a plane. Um, 
piping tip. This is just around. And when you're doing like the, you know, you want to have really defined things, it works a little bit better with the bigger tip. If it's super small, it kind of like what's, you know, you're not even able to kind of see it. Right. But you can kind of, am I in? Yeah. I can see this like on the Christmas ornaments. It would be really nice. Yes. Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. And I'm pushing in the icing and you can kind of like carve it towards the end. Yeah. You want to work on a kind of dryish base. You see, you can kind of see the brown there underneath. And then here you can add a dot if you want. But look at this. June said it last time. I forget the name now. This is like Lambeth. Lambeth. Oh yes, yes, yes Lambeth method. Yes, yeah. yes. It is, a, it is a quite uh, intricate, uh, very um, carpal tunnel igniting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You so see, it's very pretty. I'm just doing a swirl either side. You see, like it doesn't have to be super complicated, but it just. And you could put the you could put the um, what are they called the the pearls in a in a loop. Yeah, you could. Oh yeah, you could. So yeah, so that that's. Oh, that would be you know like the dresses. The, I love the detail on the on the dress on the back of the dress where they there are um, buttons covered with fabric. You know that could yeah. be the. Well, that's like if you do a corset type cookie or something, you yeah, can yeah, yeah. The, exactly. the, what do you call it the boning. You can yeah. do the boning parts or, you know, like uh, maybe a section on a wedding dress. You could do a roughly part. Anyway, there's this sheet. This like, is, um, one of the, kind of create a master for yourself to see mm -hmm. what each piping tip kind of looks like. And then have them or take a picture. Here, did I have a picture here of the blue? That's a, and the link is right on the screen right there. If you go to Marlin's coffee shop, you'll find this whole template there available for. Yeah, there's two people. sheets and then the heart version. If you want to just kind of see what it looks like when it's on a round cookie. But yeah, so it's just something if you guys sometimes have extra icing and you want to practice something different. And then also don't forget Amber has her new swirly stencil. Um, I formatted it with the silhouette, so there's a file for the silhouette, or you can um, just use it with your projector. Yeah. There's also a JPEG if you have a projector. Very exciting. Yeah, that, she does it in her sleep for us near mortal. <laughs> it might be better to use a silhouette. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Oh, Hans, Hans' head is cut off. <laughs> Where did you go, Hans? Let's do this. Is this how better? How dare you argon mount? You cut my head off. Is that better? So thanks everyone for, for joining us for our little um, lunch break. We appreciate you guys tuning in and watching us. And thanks for everyone that bought uh, the templates and sent us coffees today. So appreciated. I mean, that's what makes our live streams possible. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. And uh, next Friday, it will. It's uh, Amber and Han, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look next Friday, I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I think it's going to be again a hexagonal shape. Oh no, mm -hmm. I think it's no, it's not you. It's me and oh, Amber. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Am I mixed up in my thing? Remember last time I screwed up the template, no. the, the scheduling, and I still haven't fixed it. Okay. So it might be yes, you and a Han. Amber and hand. Okay, make up, make up your mind, finally, woman. Make up your listen, mind. You get excited and then suddenly boom, okay. I, I get so confused now. My brain is like, I don't know. I'm so like uh, pandemic doubt. My gosh, I just, I can't even. Are you? Anyway, what do you want? At least I can still decorate cookies. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I, did. I, I, uh, I put the border up. You put the board wrong. No, yes. Oh, very good. Oh, I just, yeah. I just wish to do my hand, but okay. very nice. Yeah, it's like is that the, the, it's very therapeutic, though. I have to say, yeah, the mm -hmm. piping and all that. I, I find it very therapeutic. Though. It is, it is, and I think that's why we've gotten so many people hooked on it over the years, right? I mean, oh yes, and everyone, guys, yes, Easter. Let's not forget Easter is here. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Oh, yes. 
I, I really hope everyone yeah, is really? Just yeah. do something fun. I would say do something fun. I don't know, bake with your family or something. And, yes. um, or at yeah. least eat some chocolate. Come on. <laughs> at least just do that. <laughs> yes. Eat some chocolate. Good chocolate. chocolate. Enjoy it. What did she what did she say? Addicted, not hooked. So if you guys um, are interested, I'm on live on Tuesdays. I just saw Amy there. I'm on with Amy of Seriously Sweet on Tuesdays. We, we do cookie therapy. And then on Fridays, lunch break with Han and Amber. And we um, do just similar but different stuff. So if you want to join us on Tuesday, same time, same place. And next Friday, back, back with you girls. Mm -hmm. Thanks, same Han. place. I like that. All right. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. See ya.